Hey friends, it's Trinae aka Trinae JXO and welcome back to my channel guys. My last video on style tips did really well. You guys seem to really like that. So I wanted to come back and give you guys a little bit more of some style tips. And these are more like style secrets. Some of them are things that professional stylists use and are very familiar with and i too have used them not only with my clients but for my personal style as well if you've ever wondered how someone just looks really stylish and it's like you think to yourself what do they know that i don't know well there are some things that professional stylists have mastered just through experience to instantly help you to look more stylish it's rules that not only they live by but definitely they pass on to their clients and help their clients to look more stylish as well and today i'm going to be revealing some of those style secrets so if you are interested in learning what those are then just keep watching the first style secret that is going to help you look more stylish is going to be adopting the wrong shoe theory or the unexpected shoe theory this has always been a thing but i think the term wrong shoe theory was actually coined by alison bornstein who i actually discovered on tiktok but she is a celebrity stylist she works with celebrities she also works with everyday clients as well who aren't in the industry so the wrong shoe theory is exactly what it sounds like when you go to get dressed and you're looking for a shoe to pair with your outfit you want to pick the shoe that seems like the wrong choice or like the unexpected shoe choice as opposed to picking the obvious choice if you're wearing a dress as opposed to styling it with a pair of pumps or like a heeled sandal wear it with combat boots if you're wearing a suit as opposed to wearing it with a pair of pumps or a pair of loafers pair your suit with your favorite sneakers this is something that I've been doing for as long as I can remember and I honestly just was doing it subconsciously I didn't even realize that it was a thing granted it doesn't work in every single scenario but I would encourage you to, the next time you're like getting dressed, pick the more unexpected shoe choice as opposed to the obvious shoe choice to go with whatever outfit that you're wearing. The next style secret is when all else fails, wear a monochrome outfit. It instantly it makes you look more put together, more stylish, and just more chic. I did a whole video on this that I will link in the card somewhere. This is the easiest way for you to look stylish and for you to look chic when you can't figure out like what to wear or how to do it and it doesn't necessarily even have to be all one color that definitely is monochrome but you can also do like different shades of the same color the third style secret that most stylish people know and that is going to make you look more stylish is to do your glam and wear your jewelry accessorize even when you're dressed down or you're in a more casual outfit i'm doing it right now as you can see this is the perfect example i have this oversized basic white t-shirt but i'm accessorizing it with this chunky necklace and i have my hair done my makeup is done so it just instantly helps to elevate whatever the look is I, of course it's a no-brainer for you to like do your hair do your glam and accessorize when you're dressing up or putting on like a you know an outfit that you actually put some thought into but a secret to looking more stylish and to convince other people that you're more stylish and you look more put together is doing your glam doing your hair doing your makeup and making sure that you accessorize it doesn't even have to be over the top accessories like you don't have to do anything like this but you could do like you know layered necklaces or even maybe like one pendant necklace or something your earrings a watch a bracelet rings things like that that's why i mentioned having you know uh delicate and dainty jewelry that you can easily layer and wear with a lot of things is a wardrobe essential you can easily wear these things on a day to day and they don't like look so crazy or unusual if you just have on like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt this particular style secret i learned from watching the kardashians now love them or hate them to me i just feel like they embody glam definitely kim kardashian and one thing that i will always notice is on the days when she was like dressed down day to day when you would see them behind the scenes and things like that even if she was walking around in like a sweatsuit or like a skimmed matching set or something she would still have her hair done and she would still have her makeup done and that's something that you noticed too that she just always still looks chic and glam even though she's dressed down 
that's why okay the next style secret that i have for you guys that a lot of fashionistas know and definitely one that's used by like style professional stylists is going to be playing with proportions and like juxtaposition if i were to wear something more oversized on top then maybe i'll wear something a little bit more tailored on bottom and vice versa so i might wear a oversized t-shirt but with a sh more straight leg pair of jeans or i even may play with all oversized proportions and wear an oversized t-shirt with oversized pants as well and vice versa if i wear like more oversized pants then maybe i could wear a more fitted top and then in terms of playing with juxtaposition in your outfit i really do this a lot and one of the reasons why is because i like i was saying i like to look have a uh, element of effortlessness like I think that's one of my three words which we will get into in a later video but having an element of effortlessness in in all my looks just pairing things together that again are unexpected or that they just aren't necessarily the same vibe so I might wear a button-down shirt which is a tailored piece of clothing or like a blazer which is a tailored piece of clothing with with sweatpants or leggings to like run errands or something. I would wear like a corset top with a baggy pair of pants or a baggy pair of jeans. So when I say juxtaposition, it's just like when you pair two things together that don't, that aren't the same aesthetic, so to speak, like pairing something girly and feminine with something that's more edgy or pairing something that's tailored with something that's more sporty or relaxed. It's kind of like pairing different style archetypes and making an outfit out of it. This one is a can sometimes throw you off or trip you up rather because it takes a little bit of practice. But I think the more you are observant of other people who do this and you practice and play around with like different things in your wardrobe, if this is something that you want to achieve, you definitely could do it with practice for sure. So the next style secret that definitely a lot of fashionistas know is having a good tailor and a good shoe cobbler on standby. And I know that I've talked about this before. I know that I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again and again and again. I've gotten to the point now where I don't even bother, I don't even get worked up about things not coming in my size anymore because I know for a fact that I could buy a bigger size and take it to my tailor and get it to fit me perfectly. I recently saw somebody tweet about why are jeans so hard to find? Like why are jeans so difficult? Why is it so difficult to find a good fitting pair of jeans? And I think that a lot of people underestimate a tailor. And if I'm going to be completely honest with you, jeans, there are no, I don't know any jeans that you can buy off the rack and they're going to fit you. That's an unrealistic expectation that a lot of people have from denim. Nine times out of 10, you're going to need to tailor your denim to fit you. And to like stylish people, it's not even a thing. It's just like, oh, I can take it to my tailor. You buy a pair of pants. Maybe the pants are too short. You get the pants let out. Maybe the pants are too long. You get the pants hemmed. You buy a top. Maybe the hemline of the top hits you too long. So you get it shortened. Literally, the possibilities are endless when you have a tailor and a shoe cobbler for the same reason. Over time, we may wear and tear on our shoes you might need a buckle replaced a zipper replaced so on and so forth having a good shoe cobbler on hand is just going to help you increase the longevity of the things that you're buying it especially if you are investing in quality pieces you want to get your money's worth and you want to i encourage you to wear the things into the ground like until they fall apart and you cannot use them anymore understanding the art of layering layering just makes outfits more interesting of course it's more ideal for you to layer in the winter time or in the colder months as opposed to when it's warmer out but you can layer in the summertime as well i also consider like accessorizing layering it just gives it makes your outfit more interesting and makes your outfit more unique this is one that i'm still needing a little bit of practice in but i do understand the difference that it makes so i encourage you to when you're getting dressed see if there's an opportunity for you to layer layer something and this is how also too you can get more wear out of your clothing this is why i don't subscribe to having a winter wardrobe and a summer wardrobe i'm like wear all your clothes all year round because i understand the the concept of layering you can layer turtlenecks under dresses or tank or sleeveless tops 
You can layer sweaters over dresses or sleeveless tops or more thin tops. Even now, <laughs> it's trending to layer skirts over pants. Look to Pinterest for more help with. But again, one of those things that, you know, you just will probably need to practice more, play around, play dress up until you get to a place where it's comfortable and you can learn different ways to layer that work for you and yourself. And then the last secret that I wanna talk about today, to be able to analyze your body type so that you can dress your body in the most flattering way possible, which in turn will help you be more comfortable, which in turn will help you feel confident. This is definitely something that me personally, I had to understand within my own body and for clients that I work with as well. But just to use me as an example, I have noticed that I have a shorter torso. It started when I was younger, back when like rompers used to be a thing. They never fit me right. And I always used to wonder why they never fit me quite right. I didn't ever like how I looked in them as opposed to like how they looked on my friends. So I never felt comfortable wearing, wearing one. And then as I got older and transitioned to like jumpsuits, I always noticed if I would try on a jumpsuit, it never really fit me right. I would feel like the crotch just hung too low or something like that. But I didn't understand what the reasoning was for it at the time. Just with more research and learning more about fashion and clothes and going to fashion school, pursuing a degree in fashion and understanding more about styling, that was when I realized like, oh, okay, wait. I have a short torso so I had to understand that nine times out of ten jumpsuits unless I get them tailored are not going to be flattering on me because they are not necessarily cut for people with a shorter torso they just in my opinion look better on people with a longer torso I also learned this with like high-waisted pants a lot of the times when I buy high waist pants they are like way higher than what they should be. And so for them to look right on me, I need to take them to the tailor to get the crotch shortened. But a lot of times nowadays, I don't even buy high-waisted pants. I like mid-rise. Mid-rise on me is basically like high-rise because my torso is shorter. That's why I like to wear crop tops a lot or I'm tying my shirt in a knot or I'm doing certain things that will just help me to look more proportion. But me having an understanding of that definitely helps me to look more stylish because if I because I'm dressing in things that are more flattering if I did not understand that and I was wearing things that did not work for people with a short torso nobody may think that I had good style you know so that's something that you will just need to analyze and pay attention to and not in a not in an unhealthy way I do want to make that clear um, but just paying attention to your body paying attention to the shape of your body paying attention to the proportions of your body if you have long legs, maybe you need to start buying pants that have a longer inseam. If you are a more petite woman, buying dresses that hit above the knee as opposed to below the knee. Things like that. You don't want to nitpick to the point where you make yourself feel bad. But you just want to analyze so that you can know exactly like what clothes to buy because ultimately it's about creating lines and shapes through clothing and so you just have to know what you're working with so you can know what to buy so those are all of the style secrets that i have today for you guys to help you look more stylish these are all secrets definitely that the most stylish person you can think of understands professional stylists understand these things and i wanted to share them with you guys because i know for a lot of you you're going through style journeys you're trying to figure out what your personal style is your goal is is to dress better to look more stylish and all that so i'm sure that these tips will be helpful for you if you enjoyed this video and you want more style tips then go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me guys and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks for hanging out with me today guys and until next time friends bye